In terms of sustainable chemistry, I think we're all very aware of the, the circumstances around the work that we're doing, which is two billion more people on the planet by 2050, greater need for demand for energy, greater need for materials, greater need for resources, and pressure on all the resources that we have. And if we want to be able to sustain and, and indeed improve our quality of life and enable other people in developing countries to be able to improve their qualities of life, we need to find ways of doing things that are more sustainable and more resource efficient, which is really what SUSCHEM is all about. That sustainability can only be achieved in a way that is good for society, good for the economy and good for the environment through new solutions that come out of chemistry and biotechnology working hand in hand. What we don't need in Europe is a situation where we are doing all the basic research, but when it comes to making the products, the industries go elsewhere for more supportive environments and circumstances and more long-term predictability and then end up selling the product back to us in Europe. Um, so this is about reversing that trend and putting in place the first steps to enabling commercialization in Europe and capitalizing on the expertise, on the technologies um, and on the opportunity that we have to develop in a smarter, more sustainable way. Another challenge I think uh, has been to not make this only an industry-driven initiative, but really involve the, the academia and the research institutes that really have an essential um, role to play in making a significant step forward uh, in becoming sustainable as an industry. We need to do things more sustainably, we need to use resources more efficiently and we know that's a demand that's only going to get more pressing as the years go on and so if not now then when? 